Hey guys, how you going? Welcome back to another vlog. Well, hopefully this is another vlog. I just film a bunch of shit and then hopefully I can construct a video and, and salvage whatever I have filmed and just make something that has a nice little funny narrative to it. Uh, it's currently 6.21 a.m. Uh, first night here in beautiful New York. Um, again, like the view here is incredible. So that right there. That's the Empire State Building. That's how in the thick of it I am in this beautiful city. So I um, had a welcome dinner last night uh, for myself and the five other um, content creators that are here. And uh, they were all in Tokyo Tokyo as well for uh, Rebel Moon Part 1. So it was good to see them again. By the time dessert came out, we were all just knackered. Like absolutely knackered. And I apologize for like the low light. I'm, I'm one of those people where... I don't like harsh light when I first wake up. I'm like a vampire. Blue! So I try and just like have low light when I'm waking up. And like when the sun's still coming up, like it's not even fully light out there yet. Um, but yeah, just wanted to possibly vlog today. Um, we got uh, we got lunch and then we've got a movie tour down near Central Park, which is cool. Uh, so obviously like that's right up my alley. And then tonight there's an event at Queens, in Queens, sorry. Um, it's like the EP music inspired by Rebel Moon. There's a bunch of artists that'll be there performing, which will be cool. Apparently, Zach and some of the, the cast are gonna be there as well. So who knows, if, you know, we'll get to see a glimpse of them. I don't know, but again, just thought I'd do something fun. Just, again, just try and just vlog everything and just make for a bit of fun entertainment for you guys and like myself as well. Like it's just fun to always do these vlogs and I love being off the cuff and everything. I do, it's so weird. I do get a bit shy sometimes in public and I don't want to be that obnoxious person that's like, hey guys, what's going on? I'm always like very soft spoken. I don't want to like get an earshot of other people like disrupt their privacy or disrupt the peace. But yeah, just ordered a coffee, just waiting for that to arrive. Not much is going on in the realm of like movie news or anything at the moment. Um, the other night there was the premiere of Monkey Man in Sydney, which I had to miss out on. And I think tonight in Sydney was the premiere of uh, Late Night with the Devil, which I've been desperate to see. I also want to see Monkey Man. The first Omen's about to come out too. I've been seeing that like rolling past on buses around here and advertisements for that. In Times Square, they've still got all the big posters of um, Godzilla X Kong at the moment because that's doing the round. In terms of how I slept, like a fucking rock last night. I, my head hit the pillow at nine o'clock and I had my alarm set for five. It, it sounds silly, but I feel like if you just have that solid eight hours, then it resets your body and forces it to get in a new sleeping routine. So like instead of sleeping nine, 10 hours where you oversleep and then your sleep the following night can be affected from oversleeping the night before. My alarm went off at five. I didn't know where I was. I was so confused. It was like... It's like that meme of Johnny Depp. I'm confused, I'm scared, I don't know where I am, and I want to go home. I'm frightened, and I don't know what to do. I'm confused, and I want to go home. And it is freezing here, and I sound a bit like blocked up and nasally, and Mr. Simpson, we all have nosebleeds. Speak of the devil, and you shall appear. Coffee has arrived. So once I finish my coffee, um, I'm gonna head to a CVS pharmacy, which I just had a look on the map. There's one like just around the corner. So I wanna see if they've got um, amino acids. I didn't bring my amino acids. So I do wanna have a train at the gym this morning. There is a neat little gym in this hotel. So this looks so dodgy. I bought my um, Tupperware container of creatine. So I wanna see if they've got um, some BCAAs, branch chain amino acids there at CVS that I can just have in my shaker just during training so you don't like, wear out and you know your body doesn't go catabolic and starts using your muscle as 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 fuel and then when i'm done um i'm gonna order a big breakfast here just fuel up and then probably go for another wander because uh, we're not meeting until middle of the day for lunch and then we've got that pedicab uh movie tour which should be interesting i do get worried with those tours though sometimes because i have been on them before and they're telling you these quote unquote facts. I'm like, bro, that's not true. That th This isn't the site right here. That's not true. And I'm like, they, they can seem like um, they just hire anyone and just tell them what to say. So hopefully it's pretty spot on. It's gonna be interesting to see what movies they touch on and what's what, but it, it'll make for hopefully some good footage as well and a bit of commentary. All right, so just heading to CBS. It's cold, it's miserable, but I still love this weather. Look at that. Yeah, how beautiful that is. So they had amino acids, but it was like, I could have just brought my own bloody tub from home. So instead 
just got a couple of things of muscle milk, just something to have in my system and a bit of protein to add. So just gonna guzzle this. Probably shouldn't guzzle it, so I'll probably throw up in the gym. But yeah, there's a couple of blocks walk back to the hotel. So just have a sip of this, get something in my system, let it go down and then have a train. In terms of what I'm gonna train, probably just a full body workout. Um, kind of, it, it's fun, it kind of teaches you to get creative and on the fly, just do things just sporadically in the gym and you end up having a really good train that's also different at the same time. The architecture in this city is incredible. Like it's just so eclectic. Like you got all these different types of building designs and then you've got structures like this that are, um, I guess you could say kind of having maintenance done on them where they've got the structure around it, all the scaffolding. Uh, but this is so cool, it just screams like Batman. It's just gothic and love it. All right, he just got back from the gym, which is on the fourth floor. Um, really decent gym, like they've got the Stairmaster, a couple of treadmills, elliptical. They've got like the cable machine and then another cable machine that like specializes in like pushes. And then they've got the rack of dumbbells, kettlebells. So today was a push day. So I started off with a flat bench dumbbell press. Um, that went up to 50 pounds each. So I'm like, all right, I need something a little heavier. So I went over to the cable machine. I think I had a pin loaded on 80 kilos. And that was hard, man. It's hard when you change your center of gravity and which angle you're on as opposed to like, you know, a flat bench going to sitting upright and pushing. It, it can like make a big difference in terms of the strain. I'm like, that feels a lot heavier than 80 kilos. Uh, then went over to the cables and just did like flies and then just did some triceps and also um, just threw a bit of like side delts in there with some cable raises and stuff like that. Feeling really good. One thing I find though, when I've like traveled overseas and with jet lag, first night, solid sleep, the rest of the nights are all broken up because my body's still like, bro, are we committed to this? Like, what are we doing? So. It is fucking miserable out there at the moment. Um, this is what we've got at the moment. Now the camera isn't really picking up the rain, but it's just really foggy, cold and rainy out there. I should have gotten an umbrella from CVS. I might actually have a shower and run to CVS and get one because it just doesn't seem like the rain's gonna let up anytime soon this week. It's supposed to be very, very miserable, but it's time to eat. Time to get some protein into the system. So I'm gonna see what they've got on the um, order in menu, or hopefully just get some like nice eggs, turkey, bacon, and some some like toast and just get it all in my system. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna do after that. Might go for a wander because we're not meeting until about lunchtime to grab lunch. I don't know if the pedicab thing is gonna happen today because of the rain, they were gonna try and shuffle it around. But then yeah, we've got the EP music inspired by launch tonight, which apparently Zack Snyder, Ed Screen, and some of the cast are gonna be there in attendance, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, keep in mind guys, I'm embargoed with like discussing Rebel Moon until I think the 18th and the 11th. And then the interview footage is gonna be released to us around them. Um, so that's why I wanted to do these vlogs. Again, just ha have something for you guys. And also it's something for me to do as well. Otherwise I go a bit like, not stir crazy, but just get a bit restless, so. Okay, so breakfast is served. We've got some avocado scrambled eggs on sourdough and some chicken sausage. So let's give these chicken sausages a bit of a whirl. That is the strangest chicken sausage I've ever tasted in my life. That doesn't taste like chicken. That's strange. Hmm. That's always a winning combo after a train. So there's been a shift in plans today. We're no longer doing the pedicab movie tour because it's raining. So instead we're going to the some science museum, I think. Regardless, I'm getting carried away. I'm gonna finish my brekkie and then we're gonna go from there. So I got myself an umbrella from um, the pharmacy. 33 Australian bucks. Look at this, there's a Home Depot in the city. Look how beautiful that building is. And that's a Home Depot. I'm gonna go in and check it out. This place is pretty good. They got some decent stuff. A lot of stuff we don't have back home at like Bunnings Warehouse. Ooh, copper. They have type M copper pipe. Is that type M, type L, type L, type M. Oh. So that, this is the type of copper or the exact same copper they use on the original screen used part one slash two Freddy gloves, type M copper pipe. We don't get type M, type K, type L back home. It's all one thickness, but different diameters. How much per meter? $15.81, so what? 25, 30 bucks? That's pretty good. Actually, it's not even for a meter, that's for five feet. 
That's really good. Comes all the way to New York to look at pieces of copper. Man. Yeah. The States has so much more like copper and plumbing stuff than us. We got fuck all. That scared the absolute shit out of me. I thought someone was stuck in there. If you build Freddy gloves or no Freddy gloves, if you know, you know. I wish these were Wells Lamonts, but they're hard to find now. Ah. Alrighty, so just got back from lunch. It was at a place called The Smith, which is just literally just like down on the corner. There's this nice, like got this old timey pub feel, but also like just good old pub food as well. So I was trying to be healthy. So I got myself a bloody quinoa and kale grilled chicken salad, just, you know, get some veggies into the system. So that was really nice. So in half an hour, we're meeting downstairs and we're going to a place called Mercer Labs, which I believe is relatively new. And it's like an interactive kind of, I wouldn't call it a science lab, but you know, it's called interactive stuff, activities to do. Come back, have a breather. And then tonight we have the EP event launch, uh, pun, for Rebel Moon. Now there's also a book signing there and apparently we are getting Rebel Moon books um, signed by Zach, which is really cool. Hopefully I'm able to include footage of the signing going down. The, um, the girls at Netflix who have just been incredible and like chaperoning us around and looking after us said, Give us your phones when you go to get your books on. We'll get footage. Um, I asked one of them, is this footage under embargo? They go, no, because it's open to the general public too. Like obviously we're um, part of the content creators part, but it's also open to general public to come tonight as well. So um, yeah, uh, hopefully I can Im include footage of that happening in this vlog. That would be really cool. And also just to finally meet Zach. Also interviewing him on Friday with some of the other cast members. But yeah, it should be a good night tonight. Again, like it's like music inspired by Rebel Moon by various artists. Um, and apparently some of the other artists are going to be there, like I said before. But the book signing, really looking forward to it. And I, and like when it comes to stuff like that, because I love how Zach's always taking photos on his sets. Like he's, he's a massive camera buff. Like he's a photographer. He loves getting all those nitty gritty behind the scenes photos and stuff like that. So I think it'd be a nice little collector's piece to have and the fact that he's signing it and getting to see the man and say hello to him that is really cool but first we're going to head to mercer labs no idea what to expect but just have a bit of fun in the process Alrighty, so all done and dusted at mercer labs it's pretty good it was like a sensory interactive kind of thing with like several rooms that you go in and like at one point i thought i was gonna hurl from like vertigo um but yeah so where we are in New York is close to the new World Trade Center and I actually want to go see the memorial. Been there before, but I do want to go back. I think it's a really nice looking memorial. I don't know, there's, uh, you kind of just want to be there because you know, it's, a lot's going on in this area. A lot has, has happened in this area. Um, but also check this out. Yeah, you think that's a museum? That's a Westfield. But uh, down here is the uh, World Trade Center, well, the new World Trade Center for that matter, and the memorial. So I want to go, uh, I want to go check that out. So when mum, dad and I were here in 2002, it was six months after 9-11. Um, even then I was 13 years old and even 13 year old me, it, just sense that it, your psyche just didn't want to be here like the city is so jam-packed full of people but at the same time the city was so quiet and when we were here it was still a construction site like all here was all boarded off they were still clearing a lot of the rubble and I remember we went to a, a restaurant or something over there by the pier I remember looking at all these buildings here and they all still had tarps uh, up on a lot of the windows where they've been blown in from the towers coming down and it's just Yeah, it's it's a weird feeling, but this memorial is beautiful. You see you've got all the names here of everyone uh, who perished that day um, And if I find the name I'll show you guys there is a name on here um, David Angel who for those who don't know was the co-creator of Frasier um, him and his wife were unfortunately on one of the planes that went into one of the towers. And when Niles and Daphne get together in Frasier and they have a kid, the, the, the child is named David, um, after David Angel, who co-created the series. So, yeah, it's a strange feeling being here. I'm glad I came. So this is the Westfield, right next to the World Trade Center. 
This is crazy good architecture right here. <laughs> that building looks like you're playing a mad game of Jenga. So I just caught the subway uh, uptown and I'm heading to another comic book store called Forbidden Planet. So hopefully they've got some goodies there. Check it out. Kill a bit of time before the event tonight. We're getting picked up at 6.15. Um, and then guests start arriving at 6.45, begins at 7, and then we've got this uh, book signing with Zack Snyder, which would be cool. Hopefully just have a quick little exchange with him, but then obviously interviewing him on the Friday. But uh, yeah, the weather has just not let up at all. It is just still raining, it's cold, it's windy, it's like chill to the bone type cold. Oh man, these bring back memories. With the little microchip, they got Darth Maul. All right, so back in my room, just having a breather. Uh, caught the subway from where the memorial area was up to where the comic book shop was, Forbidden Planet, and then caught another subway to try and get back to the hotel, overshot it, got on the wrong train and ended up in Grand Central Station, which is really cool. Grand Central Station is beautiful, but had to walk blocks and blocks back. It's pouring with rain, the rain won't stop. It's so cold out there. My jeans are like soaked on the thighs and, and the cuffs down the bottom, so I'm letting them dry. Anyway, about to order some room service because um, the Netflix crew said, get yourself something to eat to fuel up for tonight. So uh, getting picked up at 6.15. Um, I'm really trying to have no expectation in terms of the whole book signing with Zach. I know it's gonna be very quick, but just to you know get something signed by him uh, is, is really damn cool. Um, obviously, it's just a Rebel Moon book, but like, you know, nice little collector's piece. So yeah, this is going to be really exciting. And then obviously, the other artists that are going to be there to, uh, musicians for that matter, the music artists that are going to be there to do their interpretations of music inspired by Rebel Moon. It's just going to be really cool. So it's going to be a very fun night. I'll try and get as much footage as I can. But yeah, here's to a good night. All right, so we're here at the event getting ready. Um, there's a bar over there. That is reserved for Zach and the cast, which is really cool. Um, nice little lounge over here. This place is beautiful. It's like a big industrial space that they've done up. Um, speaking of Chris, this is Chris. <laughs> Just got back to my hotel room. I figured it'd be easiest to explain it here and then overlay the footage of the experience tonight. But your boy got to meet Zack Snyder and he was the coolest bloke ever. Um, after that footage of me showing you guys around the room, uh, we were waiting at the media wall, but then uh, the girls from Netflix, um, Gita and Denise were like, hey, we're gonna take you guys to get you in line for the book signing. So Zack has a coffee table book for Rebel Moon. Uh, with all the photos that he took. Much in vain of Zack Snyder's Justice League where he took candid photos of like Jared Leto, Ben Affleck, uh, Ray Fisher, uh, Joe Manganiello. In that kind of black and white style backdrop, just very kind of moody, atmospheric. And they had all uh, photos from the book up in a gallery where we were waiting in line and Zack was there. Uh, signing copies of the book. So we got to keep a book, which was really, really cool. Um, and then time came for me to meet the man himself. The audio isn't great because it was very crowded, it was very noisy. So I came up, shook the man's hand. He's got a whopper of a handshake, which first, like like right off the bat, I'm just like, well, he's a great guy. And as and he goes, look, is uh, do I spell it CH? I'm like, yes, yes. And I go, look, I'm based in Sydney, Australia. Um, I do like cosplay, costuming and like movie stuff. And one of the biggest inspirations is what uh, you and Ironhead did uh, for Batfleck and that beautiful suit in BVS. And he said, oh, thank you so much. He goes, those guys are great. Those guys are amazing. He goes, they're expensive, but they were so worth it. Um, I just, you know, just thank you for everything you do. And I said, you know, friends with Rob Freitas, the man who made the mold to help Ben turn his head in the cow. And he's like, oh wow, that's cool, you know, Rob. It was a bit of a blur. I was definitely shaking and freaking out a bit, but he was the nicest, sweetest bloke ever. Shook his hand, took the selfie that you see here, took the photo that you see here. And then we, after that, went around to the VIP area 
where Ray Fisher was there. Ray fucking Fisher was there in the house, cyborg himself, just chatting with everyone. Not used to this type of stuff. It's like, I get very like shy and weird, but it was an awesome experience. And then they had the EP launch, the music inspired by Rebel Moon with various artists there. And it was like a nightclub at one point. It was going off. It was huge, but... Yeah, I, I just figured it'd be easier just to say it now how it was instead of trying to like talk whilst all this doof doof music is going on. So there you go, guys. Your boy finally met Zack Snyder. He was an absolute sweetheart. He was gracious to everyone, gave everyone time, had a chat. There were people dressed up in line waiting to get their book signed and it was just an absolute delight. Hope you guys got another kick out of this vlog like yesterday's vlog. Uh, tomorrow morning I am watching uh, Scar Giver, Rebel Moon Part 2, obviously, uh, just in anticipation for interviewing Zach and the cast on Friday. So usually the, the thing is, if you are interviewing talent, you have to watch the film or watch whatever the content is just to get an idea. Um, that definitely will help with my questions for the rest of the cast. I've got my questions pre-approved for Zach. Uh, but yeah, I still need to write my questions for the rest of the cast. But seeing the film tomorrow morning will definitely help. Uh, and then obviously things were swapped out today and we're doing the pedicab tour, movie tour at Central Park tomorrow afternoon. And then Friday morning is the press junket. Saturday, fly home back to Sydney. Whirlwind of a time, but fucking hell. Tonight was so damn good. Like I'm just tickle pink. Love you guts, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.